Hi, my name is Ernst Bar, and I'm with Bentley Systems, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate order quantities in two steps. So the first step is to calculate the quantities, and the second step is to validate the calculated quantities you have done. So I want to show you on three methods for to calculate the quantities. So the first method is based on the corridor quantities, the second step is between two terrain models, and the last step is to use the cut and fill graphics. So let's have a closer look. On the left side you see the 2E model, on the right side you see the 3D model. So when we start with the first option, what you can do is go to corridors and check the components report. So based on the interval which you have used in the in the corridor, it's going to show you the uh, volumes. So here you see the cut volume and the fill volume and the volumes for the components which were used in this uh, model. So let's see how it has been calculated. So when you go to cross-section view, so click on one of the views, now you see a cross-section view. So it's showing you all the graphics which are coming from the 3D model. So you can turn on the, the cut and fill graphics when you select the corridor. So it shows you two colors. The blue one is the bottom of the construction and the green one is the entire cut. So let's move on to another area where we've got cut. So we go to another area. So you see the red color is fill and the blue line represents the bottom of the construction again. So that's how it's calculating the cut and fill for components for the corridor. So the other option is to create terrain models. In order to start with a terrain model like here, we want to use a terrain model based on the bottom of the construction. So we can include it in a template and create an alternate surface. So that's what we are doing right here. So it's processing and it's including a terrain model which is the bottom of the construction, which you see right there. So now what we have done uh, is, now we have done this, we can use the volume option to calculate the volume between two terrain models. So select the original ground surface and the proposed terrain and follow the prompts and then place the uh, summary as a text somewhere. Uh, text are quite big, so I'll rescale it here to some smaller. So here you see the the cut volume and the fill volume. So this is the second method. So let's check the last method. That's the cut and fill graphic. So when we go back to the home and then the analyze, we can create cut and fill graphics. What it's doing, it's going to create closed meshes based on the model. So you just select the right cut and fill graphics and it's doing everything automatically for you. So what you see is here, the red one is the cut and the end is the fill. So that's the blue color. So again, you see the entire model the closed components um, calculate based on the bottom of the construction to the proposed surface. So now we have done that we can start validating. So what we can do is creating we can also select it here we can select the, uh, the total cut volume for the uh, closed components but once we have these cut and fill graphics we can generate the uh, end area volume. So we go to the cross section. So we've got one tool for cross section, uh, plant profile and sections. We're not going to create a cross section itself. It's not necessary, but just the named groups, what we call. So these are the areas where it will s slice the, mod the 3D model. So once we have done that, we can go to home, go back and use the option and area volume report. So it's using the same interval of the sections which we have created. So now you can open the report and it shows you the interval which you have used for the sections. 
and in the bottom you see the total amount so for cut and for fill so the left one was cut indeed so that's the uh, volume so let's have a look what we have done so this is the validation for the calculation so here you've got the cut total cut based on the train models let's open the other one the corridor quantities and here you see the other number so this is the terrain model and this is the quarter quantities these are also based on the sections and this is the end area uh, report based on the sections as well which you can use for printing and validating together with your cross section back to your clients so what we have seen is calculating earthwork quantities and validating the calculated earthwork quantities so thank you for watching bye bye If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.